what is going on? Hope you are having a fantastic day and it just got better, fellow fans of Clash of Clans, because it's your host, Galadon. It's episode 59 of Gold Pass Clash. Many of you have been requesting more episodes of this series, and I promise you, I am bringing you as many as I humanly possibly can. But to be honest, it's tough right now because, well, there's a lot of really long upgrades. These upgrades take a while, we don't get a lot of free builders, but I promise you that, as always, we will compress a bunch of stuff into one episode today, and excited about this one. We are finally, finally going to get the Archer Queen to level 50. Actually, I say finally, but it feels like we just got there. It feels like we just got Town Hall 11, and here we are starting to max out the heroes already. Gonna be super exciting because, of course, that's going to unlock way more strategies than Baby Dragon Clash, which is what everybody seems to love to call this series. Okay, so the Grand Warden, he's going down. Yes, we are playing without heroes for the most part, but notice, yes, Archer Queen, 48 in just over two days, and that is when we're gonna take her from 48 to 50 in one episode, thanks to the Gold Pass, of course. Also, we do have a free potion over here. Should we use it? You guys give me the advice. Should I go ahead and boost Sneaky Goblins? And speaking of advice, I've got some for you because today's episode is sponsored by Ibotta. Now, I love Ibotta. It is a cashback rewards app. All you do, download the app, find deals, scan receipts. It works with most retailers. Definitely every single, for instance, grocery store that I've ever been to is listed on this list. Simple scroll down, find the one that you shop at. You got the receipt, upload the receipt, and that is how you get credit earning some easy cash back on the side. And of course, you could always use that to get yourself a gold pass in Clash of Clans. Download Ibotta here. The link is in the description. You get a $20 sign up bonus when you start using the app. Thank you guys for listening and thank Ibotta for sponsoring today's video. Now, in the meantime, in the background, you may have noticed our Archer Queen has now achieved level 48. It is time to take her straight to level 50 thanks to two books of heroes. That is right, gonna do it right away because we also have the Rune of Dark Elixir from the Gold Pass. So again, yes, sorry, no Cash Clash, but Gold Pass is gonna catch ya. I would predict that somewhere early on in Town Hall 12, these two accounts will meet and Gold Pass Clash will go flying on by. It's true. So we're flying through, of course, the Gold Pass points. We just now are gonna pick up some of those bigger discounts, like the 20% discount on builders and training. But more importantly, there it is, the Book of Heroes. So we go back to the home village and it is time to save another six days off the upgrade time. And there she is. Oh man, uh, just, just everybody take a moment and admire the beautiful 5-0 level 50 Archer Queen. And that grind, it wasn't even a grind, right? I mean, that flew by. The Barbarian King and the Grand Warden are going to catch up soon. We're going to be doing maxed out hero raids. And of course, we're also going to be working on the lab and say goodbye to baby dragons. Hopefully pretty much forever. Not that they haven't done us a great service. They really have. But I am excited and ready to use other attacking strategies. Now, the last Gold storage is maxed out, so that's exciting because we, of course, have way more runes, and you'll notice we had a rune of gold waiting here in the Gold Pass account. And then, like I talked about, we have a, another lab opening, so let's rush through the miners because we want to use Queen Charge Miner. We have a queen now. We've got mostly maxed out troops and spells for any sort of miner or hybrid attack. And actually, we're going to make sure here that it makes sense to use this book of fighting so if we're going to use that right now we want to have enough resources that we can do something else now we don't need elixir for the grand warden yet we've got two days left for that we don't have a lot of resources at all but we do have fifty-six thousand dark elixir so if we use the book on the miners we can scroll over there we go all the way down and we can find something cheap and easy N not not that i'm calling the valkyrie cheap and easy but she is inexpensive only level two and it's only going to be about three days or so and we will have another level on the valkyries by then we'll have more resources saved up and we can go back to a conventional elixir upgrade speaking of more resources and elixir there you go maxed out elixir storage is all the way so now it will not hurt at all if we use a rune of elixir gonna go ahead and upgrade a wizard tower to level eight that feels good because those brand new defenses for town hall 11 are just finally about to catch up and okay we probably should have collected that before we did the yeah whatever okay so remember don't do as i do do as i say 
because yeah okay okay here we go first raid back for the archer queen excited about this even though yes of course it is still baby dragons but here's the key remember over on no cash clash it has been making gold pass clash jealous because no cash has been getting 100 percent of resources that is not something baby dragons are really known for three star attacks or even getting to the core of a base right getting to every last bit of resource that might be in there especially dark elixir storages the town hall but don't get me wrong baby dragons are extremely efficient at grabbing a star in pretty much every single attack you've seen we've always gotten at least 50 percent with those baby dragons even when we don't have a full army ready this time the log launcher rolled in kind of tanked for the archer queen and at this point in the raid we still have over a dozen baby dragons left to go and a very healthy okay fine a still alive archer queen but she's gonna help out get a few more buildings and we roll in making sure to utilize that baby dragon tantrum as often as possible trying to keep them that socially distance length apart because COVID's not gone yet and sure enough the baby dragons with the archer queen grab 100 percent of the loot not a monstrous raid but still it was satisfying with again a hero for the first time in a long time now speaking of here we go level 46 barbarian king ready to rock and roll okay fine maybe not quite but you know four levels okay so he's four levels away from being maxed out and he will help out obviously the grand warden it's fun to have him but i'm willing to sacrifice the time with the grand warden until he gets to level 20 and really has a very powerful ability that ability really makes a big difference every five levels so take that into consideration if you're going to pause an upgrade try to get to that next multiple of five you know 40 45 50 so that you get that next level of ability for whatever hero you're working on now in the meantime we kind of took a look around we're seeing what builders are going to be coming free if the lab's going to be coming free before we pop in and get a few more walls done this is of course gold pass clash so not only do we have a bunch of runes lying in wait but of course we have huge discounts 20 percent at this point so that feels good to get these 2.4 million walls done certainly going to go through the walls more quickly and more easily than no cash clash has i'm sorry don't mean to rub it in to all of you free to play players but that really adds up that 20 percent discount over hundreds and hundreds of walls thousands of levels if you consider town halls you know 9 10 11 12 13 it's crazy okay barbarian king yes we did have enough dark elixir for him to go only 150,000 again with a 20 percent bonus that feels good he is gone for another five and a half days but that's okay because he's nearly level 50 and when he is then well we have to catch up with the grand warden but okay here we go speaking of grand warden he is awake he is alive he is ready to go at level 12 ready for what ready uh, to go back down and get upgraded again because again we're gonna live without him we're gonna survive with the archer queen and be very happy about it okay no complaints there we go he is down and another archer tower upgrade excited again about that because well actually hold on you know what we need to do i think it's about time to redesign this base you'll notice that the wizard towers the archer towers and the cannons are all almost caught up and once they are then we'll focus on the big upgrades at town hall 11 in the meantime let's go ahead and redesign the progress base so it looks a little bit more organized and gives us a good idea of the priorities of upgrades that we are keeping an eye on inferno towers expos first then the archer towers wizard towers and so on so forth down the line there we go so we are ready for the next upgrades and also it is nearly time for another lab upgrade but i'm curious what you guys think should go next in the lab so valkyries just under five hours remain let me know down in the comments what you think the next lab upgrade should be take a look as you can see oh and also yes i do have a rune of elixir lying in wait so we could even say do the grand warden and likely have enough resources left over to get another upgrade rolling in the lab all right so let's pop over to the status report and see how we did today even though we did lose some trophies that's okay we are still in crystal two so we're happy with that still a relatively strong farming area for what we are looking for season points are nearly maxed out already has not really taken much effort and it also hasn't taken much effort to gain another 41 gems 
We are ready to buy something big. I just don't know what that should be. Again, look at these hero levels today, you guys. Come on. We are absolutely killing it right now. Be sure to stop by a Facebook live stream every night at 7 o'clock Pacific and watch me killing it live. You killed this video all the way to the end, and that's why you are the true hashtag Galifam. And it's true. I do love, think about, it, and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Gallidon, Gallidon, I use I bought a, I bought a lot. It's true.